you and my father had a unique relationship, didn't you? We did. We did. You know, we, um, we got it off to a great start in 1992 when Sandy Berger got us together. And uh, as I said at his memorial service, I almost felt like he was interviewing me to see if I was a suitable candidate. <laughs> but I loved it. We got along, and I, I liked the fact that he was strong and opinionated and would tell you what was on his mind. You know, there, there are some people who are beautifully eloquent. There are other people who are terrifically analytical. There are few people who can combine all the requisite skills of being analytical and, and sufficiently eloquent and actually figure out how to get something done. Holbrook could look at a problem and immediately say, I've got to do these six things, and if we put these six stars in alignment in this way, something could happen and then he could push people to do it. It's a gift. I still believe the way he analyzed Afghanistan was right. I think that, you know, if he'd lived longer and if, if we hadn't had all the economic turmoil we had in America, which drained resources, attention, and energy from what we were doing, not just in Afghanistan, but elsewhere, it might have been a different story. Holbrook knew you weren't going to win all the time. His job was to maximize the chance of victory by having a strategy and then doing it. And it'd be very hard to name any diplomat since the end of World War II that had had as many victories as he did and made as much a difference and saved as many lives.